Okay, today I want to talk about variables and data types in JavaScript, specifically primitives versus objects. So there are here uh, six different types of primitives in JavaScript. In JavaScript, everything with ES6, everything is one of seven data types. There are six primitives and objects. So everything that's not a primitive value is an object. Boolean, null, undefined, number, string, and with ES6, symbol was added. All of these are considered primitive because they're immutable. They save something in memory, and that thing cannot be changed. So you put the number 7 in memory. You cannot change the number 7 to anything else. That's what immutable means. If you want to do anything with a property or a method, then what you were talking about is actually an object. All of these primitives actually have, or most of these primitives, have object wrappers. So string, let's declare a string. We can say let nm equal bob. Now I can use single quotes, double quotes, backtick characters. Doesn't really matter which of those I'm using. This is an object literal, a string literal to be specific, but this is a primitive value. There is no method on a primitive value. I'm just putting this in memory. So there is a place in memory where this string has been saved. I can't make changes to it. That's what being a primitive means. Now there are string methods, like I could convert a string to uppercase. But if I'm going to do that, what I need is actually the string object, the wrapper object of type string. So there's a thing called string. We can say new string and put this into it. What I'm doing is I'm passing a primitive value into this wrapper to create a string object. So if we said let nm2 without the space equal new string bob. Now this is a string object. This is a string literal. Bob is a string literal. It is just the primitive. This one has everything that a string object would have. So we can say nm2 dot to uppercase as an example. Now you're thinking to yourself probably, well, I've done this on variables that I've just put string literals into it. And you can. JavaScript will let you do that. But you said that nm was a string primitive. It's just a primitive value. It doesn't have methods. That's what makes it a primitive. And you are correct. What JavaScript does is something called auto-boxing. So it will take this primitive and it will stuff it inside of a string wrapper so that it can call this object. And it knows to do this because it knows the data type of this is this string primitive. Bob this string right here is a string primitive. So when I want to call a string method, JavaScript looks at the string primitive and says, what's your type? You're a, a string primitive? Okay, great, you're a string primitive. I'll put you inside of a string wrapper object, and then we can call the two uppercase. But it's not giving me back this object that it's creating. It's not creating a brand new object that I get to keep and use later on. It just does a temporary quick little wrapper around here, it auto boxes it so that I can call the method and then it gives me back a brand new primitive. So if we said nm3 equals this, this is also going to be a primitive. It's another primitive that's been put inside of here. So it would be that. The capital B-O-B -B with the quotation marks. Okay. So, boolean, null, undefined, number, string, and symbol. These guys are the primitives. They're the ones that just get stuffed into memory. So here's a little bit of data. We've stuck it in memory. There it is. No properties, no, no events, no methods, nothing like that. Everything else, and I mean everything else in JavaScript, is a object. With objects, you have properties, you have methods. So we can create these objects, like um, 
let's say, uh, let O equal new object. There we go. I have created an object. We can also do this, however, let O equal like this. Both of these create a new object. This is the object literal syntax. So this is the object constructor. So I'm creating an object here. I'm calling its constructor method to create an object. This is the literal version. So I'm creating an object here. Inside of here we can have properties. The properties can be any primitive value that we want or any object. So let's say I've got a boolean, I've got a number. Actually we should give these different names to make this work properly. So prop2, prop3, and this will be uh, some string value. Then prop4, there we go. Now this, what you see right here, this is an object literal. I'm literally typing out the value of this. This is a string literal. This is an object literal. When I'm writing out the actual value, it's what we call a literal. Both of these create an object. So this O, this O, they're doing the same thing. They're creating an object. The properties inside, this is how you create the literal, is you've got comma separated, name value pairs, there's a colon between the name and the value. You can put quotation marks around this, you can leave them off, doesn't really matter. Right here, I've got a function. So a method in JavaScript, we'd usually call this a method. So the object O has a method called prop4. A method is just a name used in JavaScript to describe an object property that resolves to type function. So this is an object of type function. This is an object of type string. So remember, everything in JavaScript is an object or a primitive. This isn't a primitive, therefore it must be an object. But all objects have types as well. So this object, if you were to ask it its type, it would say string. This object property, if you were to ask it what its type is, it would say function. It is an object of type function. Okay, so that's um, autoboxing, which is the, I may as well write this down here. So autoboxing, putting a primitive value into a wrapper of the correct type. So a string primitive would go into a string wrapper object. A number primitive would go into a number wrapper object. A uh, boolean would go into a boolean wrapper object. Null and undefined, these are just primitive values. Null is something that is set to nothing. Undefined is used for variables that have not had a value assigned to them yet. So up until the point that they get a value, undefined is what they contain. But these are the primitive values. Okay, so we've got seven types, six of them are primitive, everything else is an object, literal syntax, when you literally write out what the contents are. When you call a method, so nm, nm to uppercase, when you're calling a method on a primitive, JavaScript does auto-boxing to put this inside of a string object so that it can call the method that belongs to the string object. Um, yeah, so that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.